So January of 2023, I decided to post a video on Pluto in Aquarius and some of the things that I thought we were definitely going to see with Pluto entering Aquarius. And we are now in March of 2024. And back then I was talking about the area of transit of Pluto entering Aquarius of March of 2023 before Pluto exited for a retrograde and then re-entered back into Aquarius of January. So one of the things I wanted to point out is that we are still seeing a lot of areas of store closing and that's one of the things that I definitely talked about. Many of us have even been seeing the transitions as they are occurring. So Pluto, the smallest and one of the furthest most away planets, is really known for its area of transformation, transition, rebirth, and overall closing chapters of certain eras. Also has a huge horizon on technology and the way that money is consumed and also the way that people are really acknowledged in having power through society. During this transition, I think we are going to see a lot of closures in certain things that we have grown up with, and a lot of it is going to be affecting areas of how we spend our money and the way that we receive our products. I also think that if you are centered in purchasing a home and can save towards purchasing a home, this is a good opportunity to try to. I don't necessarily think the market is going to tank, but I think there are going to be opportunities where you might be able to. The last time Pluto was in Aquarius was in 1778 through 1798. Pluto really represents the letting go of certain chapters of our life. And I think we are seeing it. One of the things that I think we're really going to lose is the mall. That area of shopping in a huge mall, I think, is already feeling a little distorted. I mean, how is your mall looking? You see many big brand name stores are closing if they haven't already closed, and many stores are suffering. A lot of this has to do with the way we shop and also how we receive our goods. We usually don't pop into a store. Most of the time now, we're getting it online. And these big corporations are suffering. Don't worry, they're somehow all tied into their even stores are closing. So since that, we've been really hearing that a lot of stores are closing in San Francisco. And in fact, I think the Macy's in Union Square is closing where a lot of people would go take pictures with their Christmas tree. And it just feels like there is this energy centered around a mass exodus of the city for a lot of retailers. I want you to watch this. Now y'all tell me, why is all of these major companies, bro, we talking about the pushers and movers of the, you feel me? Of the shits. Why are they leaving? Oh, all of the major stores in San Fran is closing down. Yo, like, the Disney store, bro? Like, the Disney store's leaving? Yo, I really want y'all to think about this shit, bro. This is not... This is not normal. So I definitely think a lot of that area is going to be replaced with either some type of housing or something that is going to be totally different. Um, other real, re, other real re, retail giants are not going into any of those at all. So it's weird because you would think with more people, more of a population, the community would be growing. So that means more people are out there, but not necessarily. So they're either going to change it to real estate or some type of apartments or complexes um, or maybe restaurants. But in all honesty, I just think it's very different how it's all shifting. Maybe it's going to be a positive thing or maybe it's going to be a negative thing but it's definitely going to be life-changing for many people in the metropolitan city 
So 